Hi guys, good morning. Today we are doing a what I eat in a day and this is specifically when I'm trying to lose fat and tone up and get all snatch a rune. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. So I did mention in an abs workout video last month that I had been trying out this program called New. It's been going so, so well for me and I promised I would do an in-depth kind of video. So I'll kind of be doing that today. Most of the meals I'm making today are gonna be from Noom. At first look, it looks like a typical nutrition program, but what makes Noom stand out, especially to me, is how much they focus on psychology. They leverage so much behavior therapy and psychology to help you create better habits that stick with you through life. Their main goal is to help people everywhere lead healthier lives through behavior change. So we're tackling the actual habits, the under underlying behaviors that dictate what we do. And the main reason I was so excited to tell you about them is that they focus so heavily on education. And I have always preached that education and learning about our bodies and how our bodies work is the key to making a healthy lifestyle way less overwhelming. When you understand how things work, it becomes so much easier to apply these concepts to your life. It also helps you stress so much less. You start understanding that hitting plateaus is normal, fluctuations in weight is normal. And this knowledge is something that you can take with you for life. For example, I have applied the concept of caloric density to like my everyday decisions. And this is something that I learned from Noom. So essentially, it's not whatever has the most calories that makes you feel more full. It's whatever has the lowest caloric density. Now, what does that mean? Take an item like two eggs. You would think all eggs are made equal, right? They are not. Two fried eggs have a higher caloric density than two hard boiled eggs. So although they have the same amount of calories, minus the oil or whatever used to fry the eggs, the two hard boiled eggs will help you feel much more full and more satisfied than two fried eggs. So if you are someone that struggles to stay in a caloric deficit, a concept like this can honestly be a huge game changer. Throughout this video, you will learn a lot more about my experience with Noom and why it is that I recommend it so much. If at any point you'd like to check it out for yourself, the link is in my description. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with breakfast. I am making can you guess? Can you guess? I'm making two hard boiled eggs today. Um, maybe I'll make three because I'm kind of hungry. And I'll be making a cucumber salad on the side. I've got my handy dandy hard boiled egg maker. Someone made fun of me in my last video because I said making hard boiled eggs was like really hard in a pot and pan. It's hard, okay? It's freaking hard. <laughs> so I have this hard boiled egg maker, which is amazing. I'll be making two, I'll be making three eggs actually. And I'll be just making a cucumber salad with sour cream. And I'm actually going to go ahead and check out our little garden. We have a little garden to see if I can get some dill because we were gone over Thanksgiving weekend and all of our plants died. But I think the dill is still hanging in there. Oh my god. <laughs> my basil is freaking gone. Oh, oh no. <gasps> my plants. Oh, this is the dill. I don't think I can salvage anything. Maybe a little bit. All right, I was able to salvage a tiny little bit of dill. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Uh, usually I use a lot more than this though. What? It's the satisfying part. Wait, all right, ready? Yeah, yeah, go. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yummy. Mm. So I usually eat my hard boiled eggs with olive oil, but since I am trying to watch my calories and stay in a caloric deficit, I will be going without the olive oil just because one tablespoon is 120 calories. And don't be wrong, olive oil is amazing and I still have it on a lot of things. I also enjoy hard boiled eggs with just salt and no olive oil. Since I like it both ways, I'm gonna opt in for the lower calorie way um, and just save these calories for something else. Plus, I already have a little bit of sour cream here, about a tablespoon, so I feel like I've got a little bit of sauciness going on there, but I still definitely have olive oil, especially on pasta. Here is breakfast, and I am having it with my sparkling water. I'm so bougie, but listen, for real, if you have like a soda addiction or you love soda and you're trying to like get off of it, flavored sparkling water, it's a vibe. If you can get yourself to like it, it will be life-changing. 
I basically lick the plate clean. I cannot start my day on a good note without having my tea, girl. My cute little teapot is from Amazon. My go-to tea is always this one, the Earl Grey tea. It is so good. If you like black tea, you will love this. And this brand is the best one for Earl Grey that I have found here in the States. And I got my Christmas mug, my Christmas mug. What's like a co Coca-Cola mug, but it's got Christmas vibes, okay. back in the office enjoying my tea mm. my god it's like having a hug in a cup every morning one aspect of noom i really want to dive into is the calorie budget and the color grouping of foods at first i was a little bit unsure about how i felt about the fact that noom groups their food into categories such as red yellow and green just because we as a society have been conditioned to associate red with bad and green with good green foods are the most nutrient dense so you're getting less calories but more good stuff that your body needs you can eat a lot of food from this group and you don't have to be as mindful of foods from the green group as the yellow and red group. Yellow foods are foods that still have a good amount of nutrients, but they might be a little bit more calorie dense. And red foods are just foods that are pretty calorie dense. So they might still have a lot of great nutrients, for example, nuts, olive oil, but you do have to be mindful of your portions here. The calories can rack up pretty quickly and they don't exactly make you feel super full. You should still absolutely be getting yellow and red foods. I eat red foods every single day. It's all about balance, baby. That's how we get sustained sustainable changes and habits that stick with you for life. Noom recommends that about 30% of your calories and your foods come from the green group, 25% come from the red group, and 45%, nearly half, come from the yellow group. So obviously yellow is not bad. If basically half of your diet should be coming from yellow. Now, obviously, if you can get even more than 30% of your foods from the green group, that would be freaking amazing. But 30% is a good number that is pretty achievable for most of us. And remember, all red means is that it's a food with a higher caloric density, so it doesn't fill you up as much. And the difference between these food groupings is sometimes so subtle. For example, 80% ground beef is considered a red food. But if you find 95% lean ground beef or ground turkey, it is now a yellow food. And the taste is pretty much the same. Making a simple shift like that is a great way to live a little healthier. But let's dive into calorie budget. So when I first saw my calorie budget, I thought to myself, yikes. This is low. They gave me a calorie budget of around 1,300 calories. That's because I set my weight loss speed to the fastest option. When I set it to the slowest option, it bumped it up to 1450. Now remember, this is my calorie budget when I spend my whole day sitting down and I'm sedentary. And although it sounds low, it's actually pretty accurate. So I use my Fitbit to track my calories and on a sedentary day where I'm barely moving and I'm just sitting behind a computer all day at rest, I burn about 1500 calories. Now, obviously this number is gonna be completely different for you because it depends on your age, your height, your weight, and a lot of different factors. Another thing I learned is that not all calories are created equal. Now, don't get me wrong, a calorie is a calorie. It's the same amount of energy. However, however, I always find something to point at you guys with. However, if you're getting most of your calories from the red group, then you are not gonna feel satisfied and energized with let's say 1400 calories like I was. But if you aim to get a lot of foods from the green group, you will be shocked and surprised at how satisfied and full you can feel on fewer calories just by making better decisions, by picking foods that have a lot of nutrients that keep you energized, that keep you satisfied and keep you full. Anyway, I guess the point of all of this is for you to just keep an open mind when you try new for yourself because they have trained people creating these calorie budgets for you. If you trust the process and you actually focus on getting a lot of green foods and a lot of yellow foods, you will surprise yourself with how full, satisfied, and energized you feel. They also increase your calorie budget as you exercise. So you can log your exercise or you can connect an activity tracker, so like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or any kind of smartwatch you have, and it will automatically increase it as it sinks. I have different calorie budgets on different days depending on how much exercise I did that day. All right, you guys, so it is now lunchtime and I am making a lunch from the Noom program. Not only do you learn a heck of a lot with Noom, but they also have tons of recipes. And these recipes, girl, you'd be surprised at what is considered a mostly green recipe. Like there are some that have pasta and they're still like really 
a lot of green <laughs> so for today's recipe i'm making an orange chicken and broccoli stir fry it's funny because i've i've always made fun of like broccoli and chicken i've always said oh i'm not the kind of girl to eat broccoli and chicken and i don't love broccoli I actually don't mind it when it's like in a stir fry and it's with a good sauce so we're making kind of like an orange a sweet orange sauce so here you can see all the different recipes they have like they have so many you can also search for a specific recipe you want so here i have my favorites which are things i have made or i want to make so today for lunch, we are making orange chicken and broccoli. And this seems like really simple to make. It's literally just like three steps. The awesome thing about making a recipe from Noom is that it's super easy to just log this recipe. Let's say I have one and a half servings, log it. And boom, it's there automatically, done. Like, look, french fries, okay? French fries are considered 99% green. Hello? Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hope I'm supposed to use real ginger, but instead I'm using this ginger paste, which is supposed to be like a substitute, um, because I couldn't find any real ginger. Wishing I just could forget about you. The way to pull my bones makes it harder to move on. Oh, baby. Does that look? Oh my gosh, I have to try it now. All right, let's see how this tastes. It's pretty freaking good. That sauce is so good and it was actually so simple to make. Oh, that was delicious. So really quickly, I'm gonna log my lunch onto Noom and then I'm gonna tell you a few other things that I've really been loving about Noom. Noom is a very customizable and a truly empathetic program. So you get paired up with a coach, an actual real person. You've been trained in psychology, fitness, nutrition. They're there to answer any questions that you may have and just offer a support system for you. Especially right now during the holiday season, a lot of people have you know, left Thanksgiving with a lot of feelings of guilt are going into this holiday season, like dreading it because they want to indulge and they want to have sweets and they feel guilty. This is where a program like Noom and having access to a coach can really help you because it is possible to still indulge and treat yourself um, in moderation, of course, and still reach all your goals without those feelings of stress and guilt and just feeling overwhelmed about it all. They also really focus on celebrating your achievements and it's just such a refreshing approach to fitness and to nutrition. It's the reason why so many people have seen insane results using Noom and not only physical results, but also an increase in energy and stamina and ability. I myself have noticed the biggest change in my energy levels since starting Noom since my focus is getting as many green foods as possible. I'm getting so many more nutrients now because I'm really being mindful about my foods and really trying to get green foods with every single meal. I'm performing better in my workouts, I'm feeling much more stronger and more toned, and I'm doing this while still enjoying all the foods that I love. Alrighty you guys, it is dinner time and can you guess we're making for dinner. We're having some pasta for dinner, for dinner. That's right, baby. Even in a caloric deficit, even when we're trying to tone up and lose fat and get snatched, we still have pasta. And, and you won't believe me, but white pasta is a yellow food. It's not a red food. So you, like 45% of your diet can come from pasta. I mean, that's not recommended because obviously there's a lot more nutritious things, but it is great news because I assumed pasta was going to be a red food and it ain't. So the recipe that we are making today is this one right here, fettuccine with gargonzola pasta. And it actually tells you where this fits in your budget. So even after eating one serving of this, which I'll probably have like one and a half, um, I'll still have some leftover for dessert, yay! So the instructions look super simple. You literally just make the pasta. You put all the ingredients for the sauce in a food processor. That's it. I mean, how easy is this? I will also be adding some cherry tomatoes. Keep it up one more minute Keep it up, you're so great Standing, talking You got me checkmate No one's watching or nothing I have cleared out the room Also that you can get to be the big spoon Pasta, pasta, 
Master, I love you so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is hitting the spot, girl. The spot. For dessert, we are having dun 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 ice cream. These are the mini size. So when you log the food, you can actually do it by barcode. Code like that. Boom! I am having one bar. I went a little bit over budget, but that is okay. So here is my breakdown for today. We've got so many green foods, yay! I got a good amount of yellow foods, and I definitely went over on my red food. Hopefully this video really helped break down the program and how I use it and why I love it. And as you can see, all these recipes today were freaking delicious go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know what was your favorite meal that i made today or what looks the most interesting or what it is that you're going to try and the link to try out noom is in my description it really is such a different approach to nutrition and to fitness by tackling our habits and our actual behaviors you can make long lasting change so if you check it out i hope to hear your feedback about it very very soon thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time